strong black coffee. Drip, drip coffee. Give you a kiss, kiss up your cake. Drip, drip lemonade. I need your kiss, kiss to be okay. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another video. Woo! All right, so I woke up kind of late today, but woke up, got a little bit of makeup done, and I just wanted to do like a little day in my life slash what I eat in a day because I love watching these videos. And to be honest, I want to get into cooking more, and I feel like I don't properly eat. I, to be honest, eat the same thing every single day. I either eat dumplings or I eat like pasta because I feel like it's just like the quickest thing to whip up. I wanted to, I guess, try different menus. I probably won't, but by doing these videos more, I feel like it'll motivate me to like learn more recipes and just all that also have an exciting event to go to for dinner time So I thought why not? Yeah, obviously we got to start with our strong black coffee So let's go make our breakfast. I really want to make my like this setup better I need to buy a lot of you know materials and gear for proper drip coffee But right now I just have these disposable drip coffee filters from Baja, Bacha, whatever I don't know how to pronounce it, but Bacha coffee so inside they just have like the disposable ones that you put your coffee in and obviously boiling my water and then right now the coffee that I love is this butter coffee and this is the 1910 flavor and guys this smells so good oh you can see my face reflection hi it's like a mixture of like chocolate scents, but also a little bit of fruitiness, but this is my current favorite. I love it so much. strong black coffee i actually started loving drip coffee because i feel like the coffee is kind of smoother and also softer if that makes sense and i love that i can try different beans and kind of experiment obviously i'm very new into coffee making but i'm really excited to like get into it more a friend that i recently hung out with has literally like a home cafe and it looks so proper and legit like he has a whole like grinder temperature thingy and like to weigh the beans and like have everything like accurately made but obviously i'm not at that phase but but hopefully I want to be in that phase but it also has like more caffeine I just love coffee I need one cup a day sometimes I drink like more than one like two or three but mmm uh, coffee is so good it's funny because like when I was younger I used to hate coffee I was like why do people drink this bitter liquid but now I just can't live without it and it just like gives me life every day I always have two eggs. If you know me, I love eggs so much. I also got this gifted from my friend. This is like pistachio butter from Greece that my friend Nico gave me. And I bought, this is a truffle butter and this is bread. I love this place's bread. It's probably the best bread I've ever had. Let's make our breakfast. <laughs> Okay, so I have my egg. Oh no! <laughs> I have my egg and my bread, and I'm gonna try the truffle butter for the first time and also pistachio butter. So I'm gonna put a little bit of it on the bread. The pistachio butter I've already tried, and it's so good. Look. Oh my gosh, I tried this for the first time a couple days ago and it's actually so good Like you know how the Dubai chocolate was trending I actually never got to try it, but I'm assuming it kind of tastes like this all over half of the bread And then I'm gonna put truffle butter just got this truffle butter. I actually love truffle Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> so it's my first time trying it. I feel like it's not easy to find good truffle butter Oh, this smells so good. Smell it, guys. It's so... Oh, okay. I think this will be really good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, you have no idea. Truffle just brings me so much happiness. This is just like such a simple breakfast that I love to eat because it just takes literally five minutes. 
Okay, I'm just gonna try this truffle one real quick. Mmm, it's so good. <coughs> I just choked on a piece of bread. I need to put more. If you also love truffle and you're in Korea, go to White Tilier. And they have a bunch of jams, actually. The truffle one, definitely 10 out of 10. This is my final breakfast, even though I already munched up a bunch here. Okay. All right, my breakfast is ready. I also added some grapes. Mm. I usually just like bring it in my room and also check my morning emails, write out my to-do list so that I can start the day really well while also eating. I sometimes like forget to eat breakfast and I don't eat until like 3, 4 p.m. But I've been trying to fix that. I wake up kind of late which i'm also trying to fix but usually i either have like egg and bread or i literally just eat like two eggs that i put into the microwave You've probably seen it in my previous vlogs but eggs are just so so freaking good low-key i was watching the show and then they got like pet chickens and like low-key that would be kind of cool to have like pet chickens and like literally have them lay eggs for you that might be my long-term goal mm, pistachio butter Mm. Anyways, I'm gonna do some of my morning work, finish eating. Obviously can't forget my strong black coffee. I actually made a second cup. a couple of hours later i've just been like catching up on work and just editing computer work all that stuff but i'm getting a little hungry and i have my japanese snacks so if you watch my singapore vlog you know that i ordered some snacks and i have leftover after the ones i brought to my trip you can literally order anything you want and it'll be delivered straight to your door these cheese cookies my favorite japanese kit kats i have the cookies and cream flavor and also this caramel gold flavor but I also wanted to show you my new package. Yeah. Ah! Guys, can we take a silent moment? Oh my goodness. Like, ready? What? This is a Slice of Japan advent calendar. It's inspired by Slice of Manga. And I am so excited to open every single one throughout the month. I actually love advent calendars because it's just like you wake up and have a little surprise, a little present for you every single day. And obviously festive season is coming after Halloween. Everyone's just going to start prepping for Christmas as soon as it becomes November. I'm so excited to open this. So I know that there's like 13 boxes of collectibles and also 11 of amazing snacks. I feel like this would also be such a great gift idea. I personally love receiving advent calendars. It's just so freaking cute. All right, so let's see what we have for today. I'm gonna try opening up this number one. Ooh, it's so satisfying. <gasps> stop, stop. Oh my gosh, stop. I got Kirby. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the Wander Room Kirby. Kirby in a little tub. Oh my gosh, this is literally the cutest thing on earth. Should I open one more? No, I should be patient, right? Should I just do one more? Okay, I'm just gonna do one more so that you guys can see. Ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh, wait, they're Kit Kats! Ah! So cookies and cream and milk tea. If you guys want also one of your own, you guys can get 10% off. Bye. Bye. All you have to do is go to their website and order whatever items, put it into your cart, and then it'll be delivered straight to your house. And obviously, you can also order an advent calendar. There are actually two types if you want another type. But yeah, you guys can also check out more information below if you are interested in getting one and getting one delivered straight to your house. Anyways, so today's lunch will be this yakisoba. Not me saying that I want to like get into cooking more and learn new recipes, but I'm literally cooking ramen. But you know what? I'll try better for the next video. I will work on it. I will work on my cooking skills because I want to become a great barista and a great chef. That is my upcoming goal for next year. So I'm saying it here is to keep me accountable. But anyways, this will be my lunch for today. Just like a simple one because during dinner time, I'm heading outside for a little event that you guys will see. So yeah, let's cook this up. Beautiful lunch. 
hello hello okay all right so it is now time to go outside touch some grass leaving my house for the first time today because we have a little event today with skin 104 i love their skincare products and i actually religiously use it i'm done with their ample right now they invited us to a little cocktail mixology class and if you know me i love my alcohol i love drinking to be honest i should not love it this much but <sighs> Just like a little drink just puts me in such a good mood you know anyways we're gonna get ready head out i am assuming they're gonna give us food because it's at 6 30 so i'm assuming my dinner will be there but anyways the dress code is beige and white i think so this will be my outfit for today it's from fashion nova it's so cute it's like a little set with a bubble skirt for the bottom and has a matching top so let's change into this Woo! Woo! So this is gonna be my outfit of the day. Not day. Outfit for dinner time, for nighttime. The skirt is a little short, but I have shorts underneath, so hopefully it's okay. Um, the commute time is like 40 minutes or like 30 minutes, so I feel like I have to head out pretty soon because I do not want to be late. Do we like this? As for my hair, I think I might just like keep it like this. I also put on this cute little circle necklace that I picked up. I recently got at a, like a street market here and I'm so obsessed. This will be my OOTD. I just need to find a little jacket and then I think we are ready to go. And guys, the traffic is so bad today. I was stuck on one spot for literally, I think, for so long. Um, it's hollow weekend, so I think a lot of people are out today. I think a lot of people are either celebrating next week or this week because Halloween falls on a freaking Thursday this time. So crowded. I forgot how crowded it was here and there's actually like so many people it's a bit overwhelming but there seems to be a lot of like street food and a lot of cute shops feeling like a tourist right now
eight. Ten. Ten and eleven. Ten and eleven. Ten and eleven. Skin 104 event and we came to this bar called Six Night because we were here like last weekend mm -hmm. or we did no we were here on a Sunday and then we got convinced to come here again <laughs> so we are waiting because we made a little friend with the bartender and he's gonna be our plug of the night are we oh ready no, <laughs> but he's not answering us <laughs> be waiting here <laughs> he's gonna come he's gonna come <laughs> were we just like delusional in the head <laughs> anyways <laughs> <laughs> Let the night begin! Try with your go with the motions. Close your eyes, ease your mind for a moment. You know, smoke that make you feel you flow. You know, joke or you pressure you.